I want to talk about psychological disorders or mental disorders. Some people are taking medications for their disorders. While you are taking these medications, are they working? Or are they making things worse? The medications that you are taking are treating the body. But what needs to be treated is not the body, but it is the spirit that needs to be treated. So if you are taking something that is treating a part that is not going to change anything, what is the point in taking it? If you have a broken leg, what is the point in taking some pills for a runny nose? What is the point? Hey, I have a broken leg but let me take some sinus medication makes no sense hey i have a headache so let me take some medication for a sore throat you are taking medications for your personality disorders whatever else medication is only treating the body it is not treating the spirit. When you look in the Bible, it is speaking about different, it is speaking about people who have been delivered from their demons by Jesus Christ, right? And other people. In the Bible, it is telling you what disorder they had. And that disorder that they had is connected with a demon. Their disorder was connected with a demon. So you are taking medications, only treating the body, but you are not doing anything to kick out that demon. So what are you trying to say, Kevin? Okay. Your problem is not an earthly problem. Your problem is a demon. Your disorder is followed up or yes, your disorder is a demon. So you can take all the medications that you want. It is not going to solve anything because your problem is not so much that disorder, but it is that demon. So what shall you do? Do things that is going to build up your spirit. I hear so many times about people <clears throat> that take medications and stuff like that for mental disorders and stuff like that, and they tell me that it does not work. I could have told you that. How can you get rid of that demon? By following God's rules and regulations. Obedience. Strip away anything that is going to pull you away from God. Constant prayer. Go on a fast. The average fast, I believe, most people go on a fast for about three days. 
And you may say, well, can I eat anything? Can I drink anything? It is best if you don't. I know for myself, I was about two or three hours away from a seven day fast. And I did not eat or drink anything. Now, at the end of that week, or let's say that it was a week. At that end of the week, I was really weak. Like it took so much strength to do anything. And it took me about three or four days to get back right to the point where I could eat and drink back to the way that I always could. But it was good for me. Some people can go longer than that. Now, some people may say, can you fast with eating things and stuff like that? Jesus went on a fast for, I believe, 40 days and 40 nights. And it says nothing about him eating anything or drinking anything. So I would follow that example there. Now, some people speak about the Daniel's fast. I don't know much about that, so I can't really speak anything on that. But I know a fast is no eating or drinking for a certain time period. Try one, two, three days. Well, Kevin, I heard that if you don't drink any water, blah, 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 blah. This is a spiritual thing. You can't use earthly knowledge with things that deals with God. I just told you that your disorder is coming from a demon. Look in the Bible. When God would deliver demons from people, or when Jesus Christ would cast out demons from people, when they had that demon, there was a certain disorder. Disorders comes from demons. It is not anything natural. It is supernatural. So you are taking all of this expensive medication and stuff like that, and it is not doing you any good. Cast out that demon. I pray that this makes sense. Cast out that demon. So your depression, being bipolar, all of this other bad stuff, that is a demon. Get rid of that demon. Well, Kevin, I am a good person. How can I have a demon? you have that disorder, right? Do disorders comes from God? No. When it comes to God, everything is perfect. So you can't say that your disorder is gifted by God. I am blessed with this disorder. It doesn't sound right. So obviously, it is a demon. And the more you think that, hey, I'm supposed to have this, and everyone has something wrong with them, so on and so on, the more that you accept that, and you are not willing to get rid of that, the more that demon or demons can stay within you and continue to hinder you. How does it sound, hey, let me make Adam and Eve and let me give them these disorders. I am a perfect God, but let me make Adam and Eve have these disorders. No, Adam and Eve were perfect until they sinned. When they sinned, 
that gave demons and Satan legal right to do things on this earth, to do things to us humans. Because when Adam and Eve sinned, that cursed everyone. Look, you can take all the medications you want. If that makes you happy, hey, whatever. But I am trying to tell you something now. I am trying to tell you something. Medications are no good. Especially if you have a disorder. It is not going to do you any good. It is going to hurt you. Which it has been. So I pray that this makes sense. God bless.